Hello, mga kaplaneta, mga kavivi. I am actually thinking of a word or a tagline to welcome you to my channel. I would love to hear from you, so you may post your ideas on the comment section of this video. If I speak different languages, I will try to add the English subtitle for those parts which were spoken either Filipino or Bisaya. I would like to say thank you to all my friends, especially from Facebook, who supported my channel. The Planet V has now more than 800 subscribers. I also love to read your comments about how you enjoy the video and how informative some of them. This place reminds me of an underpass in Kiapu before the renovation. But let me show you this one. Hold on. So in year 2000, they had this uh, group called Movement, kind of movement, which is called Duel 2020. And they, they invited artists to live here. This village became a haven for street artists. And one of the works, so from 1,300 inhabitants, today they only have around 25 people living here. Dool is a tiny village near the city of Antwerp with more than 700 years of history. The area is well known in Belgium and the Netherlands because of a nuclear power plant with two giant cooling towers. building freeze after the port's northbound expansion plans which forced young married couples to leave the village and live elsewhere. Thus, it started to decline. Many people had to sell their homes to the development corporation but some people resisted the plans. They invited street artists to do this works in here. It did not stop this the destruction of the village. Since September 1, 2009, people are no longer allowed to live in the village. Right now, it is a tourist attraction waiting to be demolished. When we were there, a lot of policemen were patrolling the area.
while exploring the empty street, there was one singer who was performing and I thought he was one of the people living in the area as we saw him enter one of those houses. By the way, for tourists, entering the houses is prohibited. Although I enjoyed looking at those artworks and graffitis, I felt some sadness visiting this village. The silence in the streets and the uncertainty for those who still hang on and live there. If you come here in early spring, you can pair this visit with the Tulips of Myrdonk, which is very near this ghost town. If you are interested to see the tulips, the link to the video will be flashed at the end of this episode. protests since uh, 1970s up to 1990 I think and then in 1999 uh, it is finally scheduled for complete demolition and I'll show you one of my favorite spots here That was indeed an interesting visit. I think you have to see it. And if you're a photographer, it's also a nice place to take pictures, especially those very colorful artworks. I'm gonna see you in my next coming video. Bye guys.